Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. Welcome back to Diego Knows. I, of course, am Diego. And today we're going to continue to talk about The Little Mermaid. That's right, The Little Mermaid uh, from this year. This year, the new one. Yeah, absolutely, the new one. The one that's out right now. The one that nobody's going to go see. At least nobody overseas, anyway. And America, apparently, is doing pretty good here in America. Uh, but uh, in the rest of the world, uh, it's not doing so well. In fact, uh, it's flopping pretty hard. Okay, uh, Disney's going to lose a lot of fucking money over this movie. Okay, they're going to lose a lot of money over this movie. And, and you know, all I say about that is amen. You know, they, they, they deserve it. With all the crap that they've been pushing lately, uh, especially uh, towards, uh, towards grooming children and stuff. Like, you know, Disney, they need to go down. They need to go down. And they need to go down hard. Okay, there's way too much drama going on in that business. Uh, I sort of got, if Walt Disney was alive right now, uh, my God, he would fucking flip his lid. He really would, okay? What they did to his fucking company is fucking unbelievable. Unbelievable where it's gone, you know? But uh, yeah, that, that, that's the case. That's the case, okay? Now, uh, for those of you that are watching this review here, uh, I'll give you one reason, just one reason out of many why you think that The Little Mermaid is not doing so well overseas okay one reason okay i think we all know what that reason is all right apparently the original the cartoon is a very beloved movie you women like it a lot i can't tell you how many women i know that have told me that's their favorite movie from when they were a little girl is a little fucking mermaid about a little fucking mermaid like who gives a shit man my god but you know hey i like my superheroes and star wars and stuff so you know you, you do your thing i do my thing that's fine you know not being judgmental okay i'm just saying that there's a reason uh little boys most little boys and and definitely men okay uh straight men at least okay uh don't watch this shit okay <laughs> there's a reason for it <laughs> all right uh uh but, but la ladies y'all love this movie so you want to take your daughters to go see you want to take your granddaughters to go see it maybe you even read the fairy tale from hans christian anderson from 1837 you know uh so if you're big fans of it i get it i'm not judging you okay uh but i decided i was going to jump into your waters yeah, invade your space and start reviewing your your movies, okay? Because, you know, me personally, I like action movies. Like, I like guy movies, okay? Give me a military movie. Give me a sci-fi adventure. Give me a superhero movie, okay? That's actually my favorite genre. And I was a kid. I actually wanted to be a comic book artist when I was a kid. That was my goal. That was my dream, you know? You give me something like that, dude, I'm all in. I'm all in, okay? Uh, but women don't tend to watch those kind of movies, all right? Uh, but over the years, you know, in my dating life and stuff, okay, I, I've, I've been... I've been not forced but i've been uh, coerced to watch a lot of fucking movies that i normally would not watch and that's how i got i got into watching chick flicks okay now, i don't watch that many of them but there are several that i have watched i probably watched most of the big ones i think you know um uh, and uh and there's a reason that these movies suck for the most part i guess for the most part okay you can say the same thing about guy movies but hey i'm the first one to tell you okay just because it's a guy movie does not mean it's fucking good okay i've seen a lot of fucking bullshit guy movies that were no fucking good all right I mean, Scorpion King Part Four. Anyone? I mean, come on, that movie was was ass. Okay, but I still watched it. I still I enjoyed it a little bit for what it was. Okay, I didn't get the meme of life. I didn't get any relatability, but yeah, it was fun. All right, and that's it. Okay, I knew goddamn well when I walked out of the. Well, that was a straight to DVD movie. But when I finished watching, I knew goddamn well that shit was never gonna happen to me. Okay, so. I get it, all right? Uh, these movies, though, oh, my God, man. They feed you women this bullshit fucking message that you think that you're, you're going to get a fucking Prince Charming. You're not going to get a fucking Prince Charming, okay? I'm sorry. I mean, I hate to be the one to break it to you, okay? But you're not going to get a fucking Prince Charming, okay? If you're lucky, you'll get an average, decent man. Like an average, decent man, okay? I'm sorry. You're not going to get a fucking Harry Styles or a Brad Pitt. Most of you are just like, you know, me. I'm never going to get a fucking 23-year-old Pamela Anderson either. Okay, at least not anymore, okay? I'm too old for that now. <laughs> I already had that, okay? <laughs> I'm way too old for that now. Okay, but the point is, at least I'm realistic here, okay? I'm realistic, okay? You got to be realistic in this stuff, all right? Now, this is fantasy. Obviously, it's a cartoon. It's, it's aimed at little girls. I am not the target audience, okay? So I know it wasn't made for me. It wasn't made for me. I know that, okay? Uh, but I'm still going to review it on, on, the, on the movie's merits, okay? Now, I'm reviewing both movies right now. I'm reviewing the 1989 animated and the 2023 live action, okay? And I'll tell you, so far, I like the animated one better, okay? I can understand this charm. I got to remind myself, hey, the animated one came first, okay? And from what I can tell, they, they did it better. Now, obviously, the CGI special effects is better than the new one, okay? But as far as, like, the tone... And, and the uh, and I think the um, I want I want to say the the, the ambiance okay uh, uh, the message of the movie you know uh, just just the colors you know the characterization the voices all that okay it seems a lot more 
I don't know, more, more full of life in, in the animated one than it does in the, in, the, uh, in the new CGI one, okay? It just does, it's missing something. This new one's missing something. And it's not fucking skin tone either. It's missing something, okay? I can't put my, my hand on what it is. I think maybe because the, the animated one is shorter. It's only an hour and a half. And this new one is like two and a half hours, which is way too fucking long. You don't need two and a half hours to tell this story, okay? Unless you're going to add in shit, add in some songs that nobody wanted to fucking hear, okay? Like, like there's this scene that I just reviewed in the last video where fucking uh, Prince Eric fucking sings a song about how he loves fucking uh, the, the woman that saved his life. Well, that was never in the, in the original animated one. Why do we fucking need it, okay? You just make fucking Prince Eric look like he's gay. He's over here saying, I'll find you again. Dude, man, you look at your fucking drinking Bud Light, dude. What the fuck's wrong with you? Like, guys don't do this. See, it's shit like this that takes, that takes the straight man out of the fucking movie, okay? And let me tell you something. For all you guys out there that think that fucking I'm being maybe homophobic or something, no, I'm not. I'm not, all right? I'm not. But let me tell you something, okay? If this movie is going to do as well as Disney wants it to do, okay? Come on. It's, all, it's The Little Mermaid. A lot of fucking money was pumped into this movie. If this movie is going to do as well as Disney wants it to do, then you're going to have to appeal to a much wider demographic than just little girls, okay? Little girls don't have any money. Their parents have to take them to go see it, okay? Their parents have to go take them to go see it, okay? And if you want to get, make those fucking billions of dollars that you want to make, then you got to get, you got to get boys on board too. You got to get some boys to come in there, uh, straight boys to come in there and, and spend their money on this shit too, okay? And that just ain't fucking happening. It's just not fucking happening, okay? That's the difference between guy movies and girl movies, okay? If, if, if it's a guy movie and it's fucking well acted, good special effects and all that, that attractive characters, you know, and all that stuff, then women will go see it. It's not their genre. Maybe the boyfriend will have to drag him in, but they will go see it, okay? I, 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 plenty of girls I've been on dates with that went to go see superhero movies with me, and they thought it was good, and they would not have gone seen it with their girlfriends, but they went to go see it with me, okay? That was money in, into the pocket of Disney, in the pocket of those fucking Marvel Studios and DC Studios, okay? These are the movies that women would not go see on their own, but they'll go see it with their boyfriend. They'll go see it with their, you know, their kids. They'll go see it with their husband. You see what I mean? Okay, nobody's going to fucking see Little Mermaid with anybody. You see, that's that's the problem. That's why this movie's failing. Okay, because it's not touching. It's not touching the audience the way the original animated one did. The original animated one, I can tell just being halfway into it, I can tell what the charm is about it. Okay, it's a fairy tale, yes. Okay, it's a princess, yes. Falls in love with the prince, yes. Okay, but there's a charm to it. Okay, there's that sense of fucking. Yeah, it's an old story. Yeah, the, the dad tells her, "You are not allowed to see that boy." Again. Well, that's every fucking chick flick, all right. But in this one, I, I, I guess it's just the, the innocence. Okay, the, the, the awakening. Okay, uh, Ariel's coming into her uh, into her maturity here she's turning into a woman we're watching her slowly turn into a woman she's crossing that threshold between a little girl to being a young woman okay she's starting to get horny is what i'm trying to say okay she's starting to get horny okay <laughs> okay <laughs> okay well most girls understand that all right so they're on the journey with her okay so they're using all these fucking uh these metaphors okay for her uh, uh blossoming and bleeding okay <laughs> see what i mean okay She's coming in. She's starting to look at boys differently than she did before. You see what I mean? And we're on the journey. Little girls are on the journey with Ariel. Okay. She's trying to come into her own. You see what I mean? So I can understand the relevance to young women, how important this movie is to them. Okay. Because instead of them, not only do, do young women have to go through this. Okay. But they can go through it with Ariel. And Ariel can go through it with them. You see what I mean? So I get it. I get it. Okay. I get I get why, why it was attractive to so many women. Okay. Jeez. But... You know, so uh, so I get that part of it. Okay, I'm just trying to judge the movie on its merits. Is the story any good? Is the acting any good? Is the music good? Is the special effects good? All that kind of stuff. And so far, um, uh, the animated one is better uh, from what I can see so far. I might be wrong. By the time I'm done watching both movies, uh, I might have changed my opinion. I might say they're both fucking shit. Okay, but so far, I mean, obviously it's predictable. This movie came out, you know, uh, what what is it, 45 years ago or some shit? No, no, what is it? Let's see, 90. Oh no, no, it's like 35 years ago this movie came out. Okay, so it's been it was a while. That was a while ago. 34 years ago this movie came out. All right, uh, the original animated one. Okay, so yeah, the story's been told. Okay, it's been spoiled. Okay, the plot's been spoiled. All right. <laughs> But, you know, I'm so open to uh, being surprised, being pleasantly surprised. But so far, the, the live action one has not surprised me at all. It's just a bunch of woke fucking. Yeah, I said woke. Woke bullshit. We don't know where the fuck we are. Okay, Prince Harry's got a British accent, but his sailors all are Irish. Okay, but his uh, his babysitter or whatever, uh, the, the royal advisor is fucking Pakistanian with a British accent. And the queen is fucking black. Who, who the fuck was there a black, was, was there ever a black queen in a white kingdom in 1837? 
Sure as fuck not in Denmark, where the original story was supposed to take place, uh, and also where the animated movie took place. So where the fuck are they? I don't know. They're in lollipop land. They're in lollipop land. Okay, there has never been a fucking demographic like this. Okay, we got King Triton over here with his fucking daughters. Apparently, they're Ariel's older sisters, but they all look the same age like 20, 17, 18. Now, how old the fuck is Ariel? Was he 16, 15 years old? I don't know, but fucking, I know Prince Eric is 21. Okay, and if you're making a love story between a fucking 15 year old and a 21 year old, that shit might fly in 1837. It sure as fuck ain't gonna fly in 1823 uh, unless they're gay. Then it will fly. Okay, but you see what I mean? Okay, there's laws against this shit, okay? Uh, how old is Ariel? I don't even know yet. They haven't revealed it yet. So I don't even fucking know. I'm guessing she's 16. Who the fuck knows? Right? They're not going to say it. But her sisters are all of different ethnicities. Now, I I'm assuming Ariel's mom is black. Uh, that's but Maybe that's what they want you to think in this movie, that Ariel's mom is black, because obviously her dad is not fucking black at all. He's Latino, like me. Okay? Javier Bardem, you know, is King Triton. Okay? But then who the fuck was her mom? we never seen her mom, but apparently we did find out that her mom is also the moms of her sisters, her older sisters, okay? And her older sisters range from fucking looking like goddamn uh, uh, fucking uh, Lupita Nyong'o to goddamn fucking Elsa, okay? Like, like, what the fuck? Who are the parents of these girls, these mermaids, these Ariel sisters? You got an Asian one, uh, you got an Indian one, you've got a Latina one, you got a dark-skinned black one, uh, you know, you've got a fucking... Um, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, an Elsa one, one who looks like fucking Elsa for Christ's sake from Frozen. I mean, who the fuck is a mom? This makes no fucking sense. Anyway, all right. Anyway, this is one of my crap. So anyway, I give you a straight man's point of view. That's what I do here. Okay. The real question you need to ask yourself is, can you handle it? Okay. If you're a snowflake, if you're easily offended, get the fuck out right now. Okay. I got no patience for you. All right. I'm gonna tell you honest to God what a straight guy thinks about this fucking chick flicker. Right. That's what I fucking do here. Okay. That's what we need is some fucking testosterone uh, infused into this shit. There's way too much. Fuck. I'm swimming in estrogen here. Okay. It's time to get some fuck put a man in there somewhere. Okay. God damn it. All right. Moving right along. So uh, when we left off last time, uh, Ariel saved Prince Eric uh, from the boat crash. Okay. There's, his ship wrecked. Okay, yes, this shipwrecked, okay. He lost, there was a statue of him that fell off the boat when it caught on fire and sank into the sea. Uh, he did save his dog, or in, in the live action, Ariel saved his dog, Max, the, his sheep dog. Uh, but in the cartoon, uh, Max swam himself to the lifeboat, okay. Uh, Eric uh, was trapped on the boat in the original cartoon. The boat blew up, there was gunpowder in there, and I was wrong. In the last video, I said that lightning is what destroyed his ship, it wasn't. Lightning caught his ship on fire, but after the ship caught on fire, then Eric uh, crashed it into the fucking rocks, okay, and then it sank, okay. Okay. So I was wrong about that. Okay, in the, in the live action one, there was no lightning bolt. Okay, there was just a fire that broke off when a lamp uh, hit the sail, and uh, and then they crashed into the rock. Eric crashed into the rocks. Okay, so I was wrong about that part. I admit when I'm wrong. I admit when I'm wrong. Okay, uh, and in both in both movies, uh, Ariel saved Eric. Okay, uh, in the cartoon, there was an explosion. The boat blew up, and in the live action, there was no explosion. Okay, she just went in there and saved Eric from drowning. Okay, and then she sang him some fucking ass song about being a part of your world. Okay, and Eric was barely waking up. Up out of his fucking unconsciousness, you know, and he kind of saw an outline of a girl, and she heard he heard her voice, but he couldn't really see her face. Whereas in the in the light, in the cartoon, he could see her face, but in this one, <laughs> they blacked out her face. I <laughs> get it. All right, so uh, yeah, so he he wakes up and he realizes that he got saved by some girl, and now he's obsessed with finding that girl that saved him. That must be his dream girl. You know, the one he was talking about earlier to Lord Grimsby, who in the animated one was white. You know, <laughs> telling me, oh, uh, I go to all these voyages away from my fucking kingdom so I can find uh, Mrs. Wright. Like, there's no fucking right girls for you in your own goddamn kingdom. You're the goddamn heir to the fucking throne, motherfucker. You're going to tell me you cannot find a girl, okay, that's going to fall in love with you, a beautiful one that's going to fall in love with you, that you got to go for a, one that doesn't even have a fucking vagina and lives underwater and, and, and whose family hates humans? Really? That's the one you're going to go with? Get the fuck out of here with that noise. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about the fucking bulls this shit like this would never happen in a guy movie okay but it happens in girl movies all the fucking time all right anyway moving right along uh so that's how he, his, his goal in life is to find the right girl because you know there's nothing else in his life that's important except finding the right girl okay he's heir to the throne like i said we meet his we meet his his uh his uh mother uh who we did not meet so far in the animated version but she's black yes she's a black queen of a white kingdom okay in 1837 and i'm guessing it's supposed to be the caribbean 
Okay, who, who the fuck, what kind of history book did they get to write this fucking story, okay? Because Hans Christian Anderson knew better than to write this shit, okay? This is not fuck. this is fucking, this is the demographic of fucking downtown fucking Hollywood, okay? This is not fucking Denmark in 1837, and I guess they're supposed to be in the Caribbean? What the, where the fuck are they? We don't even know. We don't even fucking know. This is fucking bullshit, dude. This never existed, okay? This never fucking happened, okay? Not in real life, okay? Not, not, and I'm guessing it's the Caribbean, it sure as fuck wasn't in that part of the world, all right? But anyway, you're supposed to go with it here. And not ask too many questions, right? Like Ariel's mom. Who the fuck was Ariel's mom? You're not supposed to ask those questions, okay? Despite the fact that her sisters look nothing fucking like her. Anyway, moving right along. Okay, so she sings that whole thing, and then he sings this dumbass fucking song, his fucking, uh, his gay fucking uh, Bud Light commercial song, all right? And, uh, and then we go to the next scene, okay? And the next scene here, uh, Ariel is explaining, she's down there in the water, okay? Um, uh, with her sisters, her older sisters, okay, and they're having a conversation, okay. Now this is the, they're 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 over there where the ship wrecked, where Eric's uh, ship sank. That's where they are, okay. And they're cleaning up the mess, okay, that was left there, okay. And Eric explains to her diversity sisters, like I said, each one of her sisters is a different race, okay. And we're supposed to believe that they all they they all have the same parents? I don't think so, okay. Her sisters that not all humans are the same, okay, because they're talking shit about humans. Uh, the mermaids are, okay. Not all humans are the same. Okay, and they complain about Eric's ship polluting the ocean, okay, and killing the fish, you know, and uh, the sister confirms, okay, I think she's a Pakistani one, her sister, who speaks with a Romanian, they all speak with Romanian accents except for Ariel, who speaks with an American accent, go fucking figure, and then her dad can try and speak with a Spanish accent, where the fuck are these, these people from, these mermaids from, who the fuck knows, anyway, but yeah, uh, they, apparently she confirms that all the sisters, all the mermaids have the same mom. Okay, yeah, right. Ripley don't fucking believe that shit. Are you out of your fucking mind? You expect me to believe that these, these women of all different races, okay, had the same fucking parents? Are you out of your fucking mind? Are we supposed to believe that? You know, it's supposed to be, uh, it's not supposed to be realistic, but it's supposed to be believable. Okay, that's the rule. It's not realistic, but believable. Okay? Okay, fine. I'll, I'll give you their mermaids exist. They breathe underwater and they breathe on land too. Okay? I'll, and they all speak English. I'll give you that. Okay, but don't fucking tell me that all these mermaids that look like fucking, you got a blondie, you got a Latina, you got a fucking a dark skinned black one, okay, you got a fucking Pakistani one, you got a fucking, you know, you got an Asian one, what the fuck, and then you got a light skinned black one and they all have the same parents. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. No, you, you, you've gone too far now. You've gone way the fuck too far. Anyway, okay. Uh, so yeah, so that happens. The King Triton shows up, okay. Uh, he joins the conversation and we find out that King Triton absolutely hates human beings. Uh, he hates them, okay? They have no respect for the ocean, yeah, despite the fact that human beings don't even fucking know that mermaids exist. They don't. They're a legend. They are a myth. Okay, there's no confirmation, okay? Uh, but apparently, uh, uh, the mermaids know that human beings exist and they purposely hide themselves from humans. That makes no fucking sense, okay? Uh, they disrespect their oceans, blah, blah, blah. They pull the pollution, all that kind of shit, you know? All right. Uh, despite the fact that humans don't even know that mermaids exist, okay, and Ariel swims away mad, okay, when she hears her, uh, her dad talking shit about human beings, okay, and her older sisters all seem uh, to have um, have Romanian accents, like I said, where the fuck did that come from, okay, except for Ariel who has an American accent, all right, and uh, they tell, they basically tell uh, their dad, King Triton, that Ariel is acting all funny because she's in love, and that's why she's so defensive for humans, because she's in love, Ooh. You know, and it kind of the same thing happened in the animated one. But in the animated one, at least all the sisters were white. OK, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, I, I it was believable. Yeah, they all had different colored hair, but that's just animation. So you could tell them apart. So they don't all don't look like the same. OK, but you could kind of, you could tell that they had the same pair. Well, we never see uh, Ariel's mom, but it is believable that King Triton, who was white, uh, had these daughters. OK, uh, that they were his biological children, including Ariel. OK, but now with the with the diversity fucking mermaids, you have no fucking idea whose mom is who. OK, uh, and, and especially when one of them could you just have, I guess I just assumed that they had different moms or maybe. Maybe that their uh, Ariel's mom was white <laughs> and she made it with a black human being. That's kind of what I want to think happened, okay? And the King Triton is, is, is a cuck, but, you know, we can't confirm that because the movie doesn't confirm it, all right? Uh, but that's what I think. Uh, but what do you call it? Um, so, yeah, you can't expect me just to, to swallow that pill. It's a distraction. It's a fucking distraction from the story, okay? It, you've got me asking questions that, that I shouldn't be asking. I should just be enjoying your movie instead. What would have fixed it? What would have fixed this problem if you just make King Triton? Triton black just make him fucking black 
I'm gonna just make uh, Ariel's sisters black as well. Just fucking do that. If you're gonna go this way, just fucking go all the way, okay? That's more believable. I can accept that. Okay, fine. Okay, uh, uh, King Triton is a black guy. His, his children are all black. That's fine. Just go with that. Okay, then I won't have to fucking ask all these goddamn questions that the movie doesn't want you to fucking ask. Okay, you see what I mean? It takes me out of the fucking movie. All right, the original animated one did not do that. Okay, I don't give a shit what color they are. Okay, just make them all the fucking same. That way I don't have to ask all these fucking questions about who the mom was and who the dad was. All right. Anyway, moving right along. Or just say they're all adopted. Just give just that. It worked for Prince Eric. That's what they said for Prince Eric. He's just adopted. That's why he's white and his parents are black. Just go with that. But they didn't. No. I guess it wasn't believable. All right. So there you go. <clears throat> so that's going on here. Okay. And like I said, Ariel swims away mad. She's all fucking pissed off. All right. Uh, so Brasson is, uh, is brought before the king. The king summons him. All right. But in the, in the, uh, on the animated one, the king summons him. But in the, in the live action one, uh, there's a guard, a male merman that fucking, uh, Brings uh, brings Sebastian to fucking King Triton. Uh, King Triton wants to know who is this person uh, that has got got his daughter acting all giddy and giggly and flirty. You know, like that. Who is this person? You know, because uh, Sebastian knows who it is because he promised not to tell the king. He saw uh, her. He saw Ariel singing over uh, the unconscious Prince Eric on the beach. Okay, and he uh, and um, so of course he spills the beans. You know, he's oh uh, Ariel went to the side told her not to go to the surface world, but she did. She met this boy. You know, saved this boy from a shipwreck. And okay, well uh, King Triton loses. His fucking shit when he finds out it's a human okay he just loses his shit okay um so the next thing that we have here is uh triton confronts ariel uh she has like this secret stash place this cavern where she where she hides all of her shit that she catches from the shipwrecks she likes to go dumpster diving basically she goes to these shipwrecks and collects telescopes and pipes you know and mirrors and all sorts of shit down there that the human beings are polluted into into the ocean she keeps it and she has a place for it okay and uh she kept the statue of eric the one that eric didn't like and that fell overboard when the ship uh, caught on fire she she's got that in her fucking little uh her little warehouse there that she has okay and in the cartoon one she's actually talking to the fucking statue yeah yeah it's substitute statue you for a fucking dildo hey they're hard he's hard right okay and she's talking to him like oh my god really you know it's, it's weird and, and then the live action one she's not talking to him she's just looking at him and king triton goes in there all fucking pissed off you know you broke my rules you know you do not go to the surface you know that kind of shit so he's all pissed off. it's a typical fucking chick flick every fucking chick flick has this shit you are not allowed to see that boy again it's the same fucking shit in every goddamn movie no originality no fucking originality all right <clears throat> So, yeah, so he berates her uh, for breaking his rules by going to the surface world, you know, and all that kind of shit. And tries like, you know, she tries to explain herself. She's like, oh, you don't understand. Their ship was wrecked. They were drowning. He was drowning. I had to save his life, you know. I had to bring him to the shore so he wouldn't die, you know. And King Triton's not going to have any of this, okay. He's like, you know, you should have let him drown. They're savages, those humans. They killed your mother. <laughs> oh, they did, huh? <laughs> well, can you elaborate on that? Like, like I understand you're upset about that. I would be upset, too, if my wife was killed uh, by human beings. But what were the circumstances there? Was it on purpose? Was it an accident? Okay. Uh, did, uh, did, did she have uh, an affair with one of them and maybe got pregnant, you know, and gave birth to a black uh, mermaid, huh? Maybe something like that. Is that why you hate humans? Because one of them cucked you? Huh? That's more or less what I think happened. Because like I said, Ariel doesn't look like her fucking sisters. Not even the dark-skinned black one. Okay? She does not look like her None of the fucking sisters look like they're from the same biological parents. Okay? Fuck no. All right? So, yeah. So, he tells her that. So, now we find out that. Okay? Now, in the cartoon, uh, they never said anything about human beings killing Ariel's mom. All right? Uh, you know, uh, but but like I said, uh, King Triton does hate does hate human beings. Okay, <clears throat> and in the cartoon, he said that the human beings were all uh, sat they were a spineless, uh, savage, harpoon loving fish eaters. In other words, they eat fish. Well, like, what the fuck do mermaids eat then? What the fuck do they eat there? They eat crabs, they eat fish, huh? Flounder, you know, Sebastian. They eat those. I mean, what do they? They got to eat something, right? So how does, how does that make the humans worse than them? You know, anyway. Uh, so Ariel uh, says, like, Eric had nothing to do with mother's death. You know, so basically he's labeling all human beings as being bad, all right? Like, Eric had nothing to do with mother's death. He's compassionate. And he's loving. And just because he's a human doesn't make him our enemy. And tries like, promise me you will never see him again. She's like, I cannot promise that, Father, because I cannot lie to you. 
And he's like, promise me. I cannot, father. I cannot. I love him. Well, okay. Well, she said that in the cartoon. She didn't say that in the fucking movie. Live action, all right? <laughs> so, so he's like, I swear, girl, I will make you understand. You know, and then he flies up there with his fucking trident, his electrical, magical trident, okay? And he destroys all of her, all of her mementos up there, all her whole collection. He destroys, just shoots lightning out of there and destroys everything. She's like, no, daddy, no. He's like, I should have done this a long time ago. Once again, every fucking chick flick movie. She's like fucking blowing up all her fucking collection there. So her warehouse is fucking destroyed. Okay? Destroys her collection. Especially, he also destroys the statue of Eric. Yeah. The one that she loved. The one that she was, you know, yeah. You know what she was doing with it. Yeah. Yeah, he destroys that, which really pisses her off. So now she's on the floor crying. You know, holding the the broken hand, the statue hand of Eric, and crying, you know, and uh, and then uh, King Triton leaves in the cartoon. In the live action one, he fucking tells her he's like, "It's for your own good," and then he tells her, "Never leave here again." So in other words, don't you ever go up to the surface ever, ever again, right? Well, how are you gonna enforce that? Okay, your daughter's gonna do whatever the fuck she wants. She has no respect for you or your fucking rules. Okay. Much less as the king or even as a father. Okay. She doesn't fucking respect you, motherfucker. Okay. She don't respect your rules. She don't respect your laws. She's going to do what she wants to do. Okay. Because what about me? What about what I want? You see, that's every fucking chick flick right there. Okay. Now, I'm not trying to say that fucking that, that men should all be in charge of, of telling a woman what to do. Absolutely not. But he is her father. Okay. And I don't think she's fucking 18 yet. Okay. And he's also the king. So she has to do what he says no matter what. Okay. She's one of the fucking princesses, okay? So uh, as long as she's fucking there, you know, as long as she's underage, which I'm, I'm pretty goddamn sure she is, what the fuck is she, is she doing having a relationship with a 21-year-old uh, human Eric, right? There's laws against that, in, in, at least in the United States there is, okay? Uh, the number one market for this movie, okay? So, uh, you know, she's got to obey her father, okay? And now when she's 18, I guess, she can fucking move out and go do whatever the fuck she wants. And her dad ain't got no say in that, okay? But what the fuck? Why does she got to be rebellious against her dad? Why are her feelings more important than his? You see what I mean? That's what I'm trying to get at. All right. So moving right along, she leaves up there all upset, okay? And she's crying about it. And then Triton leaves, you know? And then all of a sudden, she gets contacted. Okay, she gets... Now, in the live action one, she gets contacted by uh, Ursula. We just hear Ursula. How the uh, fuck did Ursula contact her through telepathy or something? I don't fucking know. But she hears Ursula's voice. Okay, a woman that she's heard about, they call her the Sea Witch, but she's never actually met her before. Okay, but it's her auntie, Auntie Ursula, you know. Um, and uh, and uh, uh, Ariel's like, oh, I, I heard about you. Uh, well, she doesn't realize the danger that Ursula has. Now, in the original animated one, it wasn't even Ursula that talked to Ariel. It was actually uh, the eels, uh, her henchmen, her two lackeys. These two eels, one each one has a, a yellow eye. Uh, they're the ones that actually spoke uh, to Ariel and told her, hey, listen, come see the Sea Witch. She's got power. She can give you whatever you want, you know. She can fix this problem for you, you know. That was in the original animated one. And this one, the live action, is just fucking, you know, uh, Melissa McCarthy fucking talking her evil voice, trying to seduce Ariel, you know. Like, like how how, do, how how the fuck is she? We don't even fucking know. It's not explained. Maybe she has tele telepathic powers, but that makes no fucking sense. How is she doing that? We don't fucking know. Anyway, so that's going on here. She's going to make her uh, the deal, the deal with the devil. Very uh, Faustian deal okay and we know where that's going right uh anyway okay i'm gonna stop my review right here but i'll be back shortly to continue my review of it's a little mermaid i uh, thank you very much for watching this long and i'll see you soon on the